Hello everyone, how are you? It's K. So uh, this is the 13th of June 2022 and this is on Monday. So um, usually on Mondays I take a day off. So uh, usually there is no video on live streams but today I wanted to share one of the uh, comments on the live stream uh, that I get this question uh, oftentimes. So that's why I wanted to take a video for this topic and uh, explain uh, on this topic. So um, the question today I would like to answer is actually uh, this one. It's um, over here. Uh, this is from uh, Lukman. He says, uh, hello teacher, have a nice day. I have a question. Does Ichimoku Sanjin or Hosoda Goichi use multiple time frames? Thank you. So, um, yeah, um, back in those days uh, when Goichi Hosoda was there, there was no PC. So uh, there was no way to look at the multiple time frames. Um, now we have a PC. So, uh, you know, simply by clicking the different time frames, you can uh, change from a daily chart, four hour chart, one hour, and lower time frames. But back in those days, there was no PC. So um, the answer is that uh, he, did not, he did not use, he didn't use the multiple time frames. So um, multiple time frame analysis by Ichimoku is my original and not uh, the original of the Goichi Hosoda is my answer. And um, to dig a bit deeper than this, um, actually Ichimoku was invented uh, to just check the day time frame but still can see uh, short-term and mid-term and long-term participants and how they are doing. So for example, um, let me just switch to tr uh, trading view. And uh, here is uh, pound USD. So let me get the uh, daily time frame. So as for the daily time frame, I mean, um, no matter which time frames you use, you have these uh, five lines of Ichimoku. And this is basics. But uh, let me just uh, cover. So, single span B. This is called single span B. When it's down Kumo, single span B is upper part of the Kumo. And this one shows the long term market participants. So, if the price is below the single span B, that means the market is bearish in its momentum, right? Simply speaking. And then there is a Kijun Sen. Kizun Sen shows the mid midterm market momentum. So when the price is below the Kijun Sen, that simply means the market is bearish momentum. And then there is a Kijun uh, Tenkan Sen. Tenkan Sen in my chart color setting is a blue. So here is a Tenkan Sen, and Tenkan Sen shows the short term. So simply speaking, when the market is below the Tenkan Sen, that means the market is bearish. And also Chikou Span. Chikou span technically shows uh, the midterm also, just like the Kijun Sen. So when Chikou span is below the candles, that means the market is bearish. Simply speaking, actually there is more to it, but simply speaking, uh, that's the basic idea. So the idea of Ichimoku is just by looking at one time frame, which is a daily time frame in this case, you know. Uh, whether the market is bearish or bullish in terms of three different terms short term and mid term and long term so in this case pound usd daily chart right now the price is below the kijun sen tenkan sen and kumo and chikou span below candles so simply speaking it's bearish so the idea of ichimoku is to capture the market momentum as of now and there's nothing else we can do actually we can't predict the future we can't expect which way the market might go the only thing we can do is to understand the market situations of now correctly in terms of three different terms so that uh, you can capture which way the market is going and also uh, in uh, which uh, in which momentum the market is actually bullish or bearish on these uh, three different terms. 
So if go to Hosda will look like this kind of market, then he says it's bearish, so we can sell. But as he also mentions on the original books, you can't really trade by the Ichimoku itself only. He always encourages us to also look at the candlesticks, also look at the support and resistances, and always look at the chart in a holistic way and uh, take trades accordingly. So in this case, there is a support level here. The previous support was exactly on the 13th May, around 1.2147. So you know that the market is very close to support. So in this case, it may retrace, it may bounce. So you better wait for the support level breakout and sell. Yeah, but now this is bearish. So the market tends to go bearish continuously is what Ichimoku says. Right? So let me just give you one other example in one single time frame in terms of short term and mid term and long term. So let me check some other pairs. Uh, I would like to pick some uh, different situation, like a but uh, good example. So let me check. Um, okay, so here is the USDJPY, and the USDJPY daily time frame is now bullish at a glance because the price is above the Kumo, above the Kijun Sen, and above the Tenkan Sen, and the Chikou span above the price. So this is now bullish. At a glance, right? So that means from the short term to mid term to long term, it's bullish. Uh, more precisely, the buyers for the long term and short term and mid term are winning, and uh, sellers in the short to mid to long term are losing. That's what it means on these three lines or the five lines of Ichimoku. Um, so, Goichi Hosoda would encourage us to buy. In this case, never sell, but take a buy. Look for, you know, the buying edge or look for where to enter the trade to buy. But never sell is the key. So, and also the idea of the Ichimoku is that let's say the market reverses. So maybe good example would be like this. Previously, we had like a similar situation where a Kumo, I mean, a price is above Tenkan Kijun Sen Kumo and Chikou Span above candles. It was bullish. But as we monitor the chart, Next day, still market is above this line, so it's bullish. And if I just move for more candles, here you see the market broke the Tenkan Sen. So simply, this means that as per the original teaching, this means that in the short term, market is becoming bearish. But in the long to mid term, it's still bullish, right? So if you are the short term participants. If you want to follow the short-term direction, uh, you better sell. But if you are the long-term to mid-term participant, then you can still buy, is what Gochi Hosa would say continuously. And then as we monitor, the market breaks the Kijun Sen over here. The close price, the candlestick close becomes below the Kijun Sen. So this means uh, that um, the sellers becomes dominant uh, in the short term, Tenkan Sen, and mid term, Kijun Sen. Price below Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, that's what it means. However, the price is still above the Kumo, so that means in the long term, buyers are still dominant, but in the short to mid term, sellers become dominant. So if you are the short-term to mid-term participants, you better look for the sell chance. It's retracing backwards now. But if you are the long-term trader, you can still look for the buy chance. As long as it's above the Kumo, you can still look for the buy chance. That's what Goishosa would say. So like this, um, you know, um, the, um, the original teaching of Ichimoku is very simple like this. Um, it doesn't really, you know, offer exactly where to enter, where to exit. Uh, according to these uh, original books, Ichimoku, uh, you know, focuses more on the bigger picture of the market, bigger picture on the trend directions and the momentum in the market. And the idea is to be able to identify 
what the short-term and mid-term and long-term participants are doing in one single time frame. So that was the original idea. And for myself, since we have PC and I, I'm used to multiple time frame analysis, I was using the moving average or uh, the Bollinger Bands and the RSI and other indicators previously before I started to use Ichimoku. And I'm so used to multiple time frames. And that's why I use also Ichimoku in multiple time frames to, to see exactly which way the market's going and all in different time frames. And plus, I look for the entries in the five minute usually. Um, looking for the entry chance in the five minute uh, so that I can exactly capture the trading edge to buy so that I can have a uh, relatively um, smaller pips to stop loss and I can you know, risk 2% to stop loss and go for a relatively higher lot size. And then I follow the major direction. But this part is actually my own strategy. Originally, Ichimoku offered the, uh, to, to be able to identify the market direction and momentum in one single time frame is the idea. And this is also very important about the Ichimoku is that um, Ichimoku is not, again, uh, to predict the future, but uh, Ichimoku is to see the market situation as of now. But correctly, you have to see that. Okay, so if you see the market, uh, what are the short-term participants doing? And what are the mid-term participants doing? And what are the long-term participants doing? You know, we have to be able to identify these three different terms uh, with uh, one single chart so that um, you can follow one of these participants' uh, momentum accordingly when you analyze and take trace is the idea. And plus, what's more, um, in terms of the original teaching, uh, Goichi Hosoda did not really analyze the Forex. Uh, he was using examples on the stock market index, uh, like uh, some of the Japanese stock markets. And in terms of index, uh, he was using an example in the Nikkei 225 Japan index. Plus, he was using also Dow Jones and some other uh, US index. But, uh, you know, based on my experience, I have been trading the Forex only and Ichimoku works very well. In the forex pairs so that's why i only uh usually i mainly analyze the forex pairs in my youtube channel and uh introduce the basic concept of the ichimoku here so uh so you know there are many teachings uh in terms of ichimoku uh i was actually using ichimoku originally before uh, when i was a newbie but i gave up on using ichimoku because I thought it's too complicated. Like Kumo is shifted forward 26 candles to the future. Chikou span is backwards 26 candles. So um, and Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen are not even moving averages. So I thought this is too complex. I wanted to simplify my analysis, and that's why I gave up on using Ichimoku originally. But after losing uh, losing uh, month and year, I started to apply Ichimoku again after I mastered the price action and then uh, my performance got much much better. So yes Ichimoku is powerful but uh, I think the knowledge of the price action is also mandatory. Uh, in other words if you master the price action at least if you know just by looking at these candlesticks if you can tell which way the market is going and how the buyers and sellers are doing simply by looking at the candlesticks only and then uh, you apply Ichimoku and Ichimoku makes much more sense. So together with the price action, Ichimoku becomes much, much powerful. And that's what actually Goichi Hosoda also says. Yeah, he also introduced uh, in the original books, he also introduced some of the, the uh, like simple uh, candlestick patterns what he called, um, what we call Goichi Hosoda's, uh, you know, uh, price actions. And he was actually referring to uh, what we call Sakata Goho. 
Sakatago Ho, maybe you can uh, search Google and uh, you can find um, many articles about it. But basically, that's the basic um, candlesticks like double bottom or double top, head and shoulders, and uh, engulfing break, um, and uh, doji break, and so on, pin bar. So, very basic, very uh, simple and basic candlestick patterns. And uh, Goichi Hosoda highly recommended to apply that knowledge with the Ichimoku so that Ichimoku becomes even more powerful. And I totally agree with that. Yeah, without the, without the price action knowledge, I think Ichimoku uh, will be a bit still vague to everyone because uh, because uh, you can't just sell just because Tenkan Kijun Sen dead cross happens. You can't just sell just because Chikou Span breaks. You know, these are, or you can't just buy just because the market breaks a Kumo, for example. Uh, so, but these are the examples of the market changing its momentum over time, but it doesn't assure you that the market goes for that direction continuously. So, uh, but if you apply the price action knowledge with, for example, Tenkan Kijun Dead Cross or Chikou Span Break or the Kumo Breakout, um, you know exactly um, how far the market might go and also uh, you, you can really capture exactly how strong these breakouts are, how strong and how weak the Chikou Span Break or Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen Crosses are. Um, so that's actually uh, why I encourage everyone to also study the price action. I have a playlist of the price action, so uh, you can uh, call, come to my YouTube and click on the playlist. You can find the price action playlist, and I introduce some basic price action knowledge, which I mainly use on this, so uh, you can refer to it. But uh, yeah, that's the basic idea of Ichimoku. So again, coming back to this question, um, does Ichimoku Sanjin or Hosoda Goichi use multiple time frames? The answer is no. Yeah, the, the one you see in multiple time frame analysis is my original and not, not the original Ichimoku teaching. So that's um, a little topic I want to cover today because uh, I got uh, these questions regularly. Uh, when I do the lives or emails, that's why I wanted to introduce uh, this uh, topic today. So, uh, so right now I'm planning to redo the price action videos in public and also for the GTS members um, because I have took some videos previously, like a series of price action videos, and these are the basics. But um, there are actually much more than I wanted to say about the price actions. I think I have my own way to understand the price actions in multiple time frames also. So uh, I think I will divide these uh, videos from a uh, beginner and advanced, like a two series of videos. And um, I will create some, uh, yeah, uh, like series of videos like this. And hopefully you can uh, learn more deeper level of these price actions. Um, I'm still um, looking to what topics, uh, what uh, titles on each topics are going to be on this series of the price action videos, but um, there will be series of videos. So maybe that will be maybe five, five videos I'm thinking to redo the price actions and hopefully I can introduce them to you soon. So, but until, until I release that, uh, please uh, always uh, come to the playlist and, you know, you can find the price action playlist on my YouTube channel. And also, if you can search price action in ForexK, you can find also some of the archive when I was running the tester, when I was analyzing the live market and where I talk about the price actions. You can find these lives and videos on the archive. So you can always search and uh, try to look for it and continue to learn. So uh, yeah, so again, this is Monday, so usually I take a day off, 
but uh, I'm so motivated to talk about this topic and that's why I wanted to take a quick video and upload it and share it to everyone. So uh, yeah, but looks like uh, JPY pairs are retracing backwards now and uh, looks like markets were active, but now it's a bit retracing. This is um, this video is captured at uh, uh, like 1 p.m. UTC. So uh, it's like a bit retracing. So I guess I will continuously stay away and come back tomorrow as always. But uh, I hope you have a great, great day today. And I hope to see you on the next one soon. So until I see you next time, please stay healthy and stay safe. And also stay gold. All right, everyone. Bye for now. Matane. Thanks so much.